What's up, everybody? It's your girl, Miss P. I hope that you are doing fabulous, darling. Yes, you've seen from the title correctly. It is time for another Untitled Foolery. And I'm going to say this is the Grammy edition because last night, the Grammys were on. First of all, I forgot because, you know, it's black history. We've been through a lot in the last month. Global warming. It was 83 degrees yesterday. And today, it is a nippy. Your nips will fall off 42 here. Well, I'm in North Carolina. All y'all northerners be like, girl, that ain't nothing. I know. I forgot that the Grammys were coming on. When I was little, little I used to love watching the Grammys. You knew you could not watch this over again, but now we got YouTube, we got all sorts of stuff, and child, I was halfway asleep, and my poor little DVR was like, bebe, all we're doing is three and a half hours. Like, that's our limit. We can't record anything else, okay? I'm so sorry. So yeah, this is gonna be my Grammy review. If I miss anything, I'm sorry, I'm not gonna hit on every single thing. I'm not going to hit on every single genre, but um, I do want to talk about it. So down below in the comment section, I would love to know what were your thoughts on this year's Grammys. I'm going to personally say I thought it was better than a whole bunch of them that they've had. It was interactive. The crowd was participating. The host wasn't dry. Uh, the music was good. It wasn't fantastic, but I could at least stomach it and watch it partially all the way through. Hello, bitch. Adele opened up the show with hello it's me I was like okay girl Adele just stands there she ain't gonna be like hello hey girl she's not gonna give you that she's not gonna be dancing through the whole thing that's just her that's her presence and you know I actually fell in love with Adele's personality when she was on carpool karaoke with the host of this year's Grammys James Corden like I enjoy him his person he is so stupid and I say that in a good way he's funny to me I enjoyed it he's very light he genuinely loves music i just have to say j-lo's heel game is so sick like i would love to be in her heel closet j-lo do you wear a six and a half she did best new artist and best new artist went to chance the rapper i love chance the rapper his whole message the independence just how he's himself i love it i stand for chance the rapper and i'm so glad that he got it because he's had a fantastic year and he deserves it good job grammys good job because for the last couple of years y'all been bullshit you know, Weekend and Daft Punk performed. Um, I forgot that song, but um, I'm so glad The Weekend cut his hair off. Now, I'm going to say something about The Weekend. I know his songs, Can You Win Thing, but I'm still trying to get into The Weekend. Like, I don't stand out for him. I don't. Most of his music makes me want to just go in a room somewhere and just sit and look at look out. Daft Punk, they better get their check with their mask on. I don't even know what they look like. But what's her name? Saya? Sia is Sia, I think it is. She had to break out of that. She was like, nah, bitch, y'all gonna see my eyes. Like, this is too much. Speaking of outfits, what did CeeLo have on looking like he needed to be a part of the Power Ranger team? I was not... CeeLo, I'm all for you being alternative and doing your thing, but baby, what the hell? Carrie Underwood and Keith Urban perform, child. I'm here for Carrie Underwood. I enjoy her. She better get her country music coin, okay, from American Idol. Keith Urban, he aight, but their performance seemed like they didn't know what they were trying to do with each other. I was a little confused. 21 Pilots was in their draws, accepting their best duo pop award. And I, you know what? That song, it plays everywhere. Accepting it in their draw. I... At first, I was like, what the hell? But then I was looking at them. I was like, yeah, they, they would do something like that. But let me try to do something like that. Just saying. Ed Sheeran. I'm, I enjoy Ed Sheeran. I enjoy his. I just got out of bed. I need to wash my hair. Look, I like his little song, even though he took Alicia Keys' little concept. You remember last year when she was doing all own stuff? And we were like, okay, Alicia. But... Ed, I'm loving this song. It's just something about it. You can diddy bop to it. I, I liked it. Okay, it was coming up an hour, and I was like, okay, I'm getting sleepy. I enjoyed live tweeting with you guys for the first hour of the show. <laughs> After that, I was, I, was, I was gone. I was waiting for Beyonce. I was like, she better come up this first hour because I cannot. And also, she's preggers, so she's not going to wait to the end like she usually does. No, we're going to get it within the first hour. And doggone it, we were at the 59-minute mark. Here she comes. Here comes Mama Tina. She introduces her and she was like both of my girls have won okay yes yeah, Solange you better win a Grammy I'm I'm proud of Solange I am for just stepping out and doing her own thing this go round, being herself her true self and then you win a Grammy on top of that yes bitch, do that even though I love Ro James permission and I thought that was gonna win a Grammy but anyway Beyonce come out right she got this optical illusion thing going on and I'm sitting here like oh my god do I need my 3d glasses I didn't know what was going on but everybody was like what the hell oh my gosh shh, shh, be quiet be quiet so here are my looks that happened during Beyonce's performance what? Yes. okay 
that was all within the optical visual illusion type of situation she was speaking all the way through my mama's daughter bed we cannot be contained i was like yes i'm here for it i'm here for it then she comes out i was like oh shit oh my goodness she had the belly is exposed it's out there she letting everybody know yes twins i'm impregnated like this is going to happen here we go look really pretty and earthly and motherly and let's get it together and i honest to god thought she was gonna come out in formation she started doing um love drought like that's one of my favorites i love that song and i was like oh my god yes the dancer everybody was synchronized it was great beyonce gets her ass in that chair in the chair and i'm like okay she's gonna be in the chair and this bit leans back i said whoa wait wait you're pregnant what are you doing and it just boop i was like oh! that's how i felt the whole time i was like somebody get your, get your ass up you don't but you're beyonce they're not gonna let you fall like honest to god the grammys Mm -mm. They ain't gonna let her ass fall. She popped right back up and was like, yes, bitch. Y'all thought this is David Blaine, bitch. Magic. I was like, ah. So after that, they go into sandcastles. And I was like, okay, I would have rather her did all night. But I get the story. I understand that she pregnant. Okay, saying we built a sandcastle, bitch. Here we go. I get it. I understand it. I like the performance i thought it was really good especially for her being pregnant i did not imagine even though i wanted her to be in formation everybody get your asses in formation i did this shit and you better watch me dance but i can understand you got twins in your belly you pro your titties are already out and ready to go okay look like she was ready to give birth right then and there she can't do but so much and i get it i get it i understand but i thought it was a cute performance blue was here for it she was standing out for her mama james tried to do live carpool karaoke half of them people didn't know what the hell neil was singing okay especially j-lo she was like uh-uh oh, 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 oh. even uh what's his name jason derulo you gonna hop your happy ass up there you don't know what they singing bruno mars came out i love me some bruno mars i stand out for him he has had a fantastic freaking year thus far i hope i can see him on tour this year he performed and it was great he was crooning j-lo was standing out there like oh my god yes and i enjoyed it katie perry i didn't watch her full performance but i'm here for katie perry too i enjoy her i'm all for artists doing what the hell they want to do and Katy perry is exactly that she does what the hell she wants to do best urban contemporary went to beyonce and yes there were some other awards that were passed out but child i don't know who they were or what they got oh look beyonce pulled out a freaking paper and was like y'all ain't ready let me give y'all this poem let me spit this real quick the birds in the sky be flew okay and then after that we grew Aha! Uh -huh. Yeah! And then she thanked her husband and her baby, and she walked on out. Marin Morris and Alicia Keys performed. Marin did good. I was here for it. Um, Alicia came out, and the only thing with Alicia, it kind of worked. You know, Alicia hollers. We all know this. And Marin, it kind of worked for some reason. I was like, okay. I didn't watch the full performance, but I was like, okay. Now, you know what would have worked, being that Alicia was in full cat suit, a beat face. Like, sometimes I get it with the no beat but i mean yeah just <laughs> tribute to george michael um adele did the tribute and this bit stopped she said no i gotta do it over stop it fuck i'm sorry i didn't mean to say fuck we gotta start it over i gotta do better i was like hold up bitch. this is because i thought we were playing like honestly but then i was like no this isn't a tribute why would she be playing why are you doing ma'am and it didn't sound no different to me i don't know like i was like no you could have went ahead and finished like it really honest to god did not sound any different i, I mm, 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 mm. hello bitch best rap chance the rapper like it should be i enjoy his acceptance speeches i enjoyed them lady gaga came out child um she was performing with somebody was it metallica i, child, I don't know but her mic their mics were off her mics were on it was a lot going on but i enjoyed it i didn't know what the hell they were talking about but it was good lady gaga is another one that's like a chameleon she can do practically anything she goes from classical to rocking out last week she did the super bowl bit yes i i just said bit i'm tired I done shut down the Super Bowl. I ain't doing nothing else. Mm -mm, I ain't. But she did. Go ahead, Lady Gaga. Do that shit. 
do it. Demi Lovato, Audra Day, Little Big Town, and hold on, Tori Kelly. How could I forget Tori Kelly? Did a tribute to the Bee Gees. And y'all know I, I jam to the Bee Gees. I, I like the Bee Gees. Uh, Tori did her good singing. Little Big Town did good. Uh, Demi shut the shit down, in my opinion. I'm a huge fan of Demi Lovato. That's another one that does whatever the hell she wants. And Tori just sings her whole entire face off. I'm still kind of trying to get into Audra Day, but they did good. Adele won for Song of the Year. Everybody and their mama has listened to Hello. Anderson Pac, A Tribe Called Quest, and Busta Rhymes. They came out and performed. I love me A Tribe Called Quest. I love R.I.P. to Fife. Uh, I love Busta Rhymes. I have to get it into Anderson Pop. It was time for the Prince tribute. Yes, they better bring out Morris Day in the Time. What? Hallelujah. Uh, Y'all don't know Morris Day in the Time? Gotta uh, get your eyebrows straight. I love Morris Day in the Time. I'm so glad they let them perform great. And Bruno, oh my God, he had the purple on. He had the little eyeliner. He did that. I enjoyed it. It was great. There will never be another Prince. We all know that. But the performance was really good and I enjoyed it. Go ahead, Bruno. I know there were a lot more um, awards given out. Try and look. But Chance the Rapper performed and he had Tamala Mann, Kirk Franklin, and another young lady who performs with Kirk Franklin, Franklin a lot and she's well well known in the gospel community I can't remember her name right now it's on the tip of my tongue but either way they performed it was freaking amazeballs like I enjoyed it like I felt like I was at a freaking revival you know what I'm saying the choir was singing it was just good and Chance was in there he was like yes this is my moment I was like yes you better live in this Kirk Franklin jumping around like Jimmy the Cricket Tamala Man sang her entire ass off she did it was just fantastic the setup was great it was just, oh, that performance was good. That's one I'm going to watch over and over and over again. The Prince Tribute, I'm going to watch that again. Beyonce's, I'll probably watch one or two times again. And uh, probably the Bee Gees Tribute, that was good too. I didn't get to see who won Record of the Year. I fell asleep, child, and my DVR was like, nope. So, of course, now I know that Adele won for Record of the Year. Of course, I think the Lemonade should have won, and Adele thinks so too. But the whole, you know, and my black friends, you know, it was like, what? We were rolling with you up until the... What you... Adele, girl, mm-mm, no. All in all, I have to say that I did enjoy this year's Grammys. Down below in the comment section, I would love to know what did you think about this year's Grammy Awards? Who should have won? What performance did you like? What did you not like? Now, this is my opinion, honey. I love seeing your opinions down below. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. And I will see you on the next video. Peace, love, and war. That good stuff. God bless. Bye.